Hi guys. Get myself all together here. Fix my lighting. I love ring lights. Let me tell you, like, they just make everything glow and pretty. Because if I turn this off, you'd be like, ooh. But I'm not going to. This is the world we live in. We get to filter everything. Isn't that nice? If you're hopping on and you can hear me, drop a like, drop a heart, comment an emoji, say what's up. Let me know you can hear me. Let me know you're here. <sighs> I'm like having a day, guys. Like, yeah, I'm having a day. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jess. Um, hi, Jody. Oh, they must have updated Facebook. All the bubbles look really different. Hi, Martha. Whoo, girls. Yeah, yeah, that's where, this is my day. Um, I have a list, so you know I mean business. Um, before I get down into the nitty gritty, and yeah, um, couple quick things. Happy Tuesday. Um, there will be no bachelor talk today because I only saw the last like two minutes, so I'm watching it tonight. So we will not talk about that. But I know who the two-on-one date who got sent home. She got sent back to Paris. Hey, Kat. Um, and then what else? Um, I've been working on, like, I've had a really productive work day. And I, like, that never happens for me. But I'm, like, moving and grooving today. But, like, little things that have gone on through the day that have just really ruffled my feathers today. And I don't know if I'm, like coming up on a certain time in the month, but I'm like super irritable today. I don't know why. Um, quick question for you guys. I have a collaboration coming up um, that um, I'm in negotiations with right now. It's gonna be super duper fun, but I want your input on if you would rather have like a giveaway to come out through that collaboration or like a discount code. Which one would you be more interested in? A giveaway would be one person would get it and a discount code would be something for all of you to use. So if you can comment and let me know which you would prefer on an upcoming collaboration that you're gonna really love. I'm like super excited about it. Um, so let me know. Giveaway for one person or coupon code, like a discount code for everyone. Um, number two, I didn't get my target post done. That is next on my list. However, a lot of people have been saying lately um, that they're wanting to know like what I'm currently liking and like what I'm current, what's currently on my wish list. So I added a little sidebar on my blog um, where I have my current favorites and my wish list items. So you can scroll those on the side of the blog um, and see them at any time. They're linked right up for you. So you're like set with that. Um, so other than that, I'm just going to get into it. So I saw someone post something on Facebook yesterday and it like really rubbed me the wrong way. Um, they were asking how you can turn off, um, the thing on the Facebook messenger where it shows that you read the person's message. And I was, and like all these people were like, yes, how do you do that? Da, da, da. And like, why? Like, what is wrong with our culture nowadays? Like, why is it so hard to reply to somebody? And like, I get it. A lot of people message me trying to sell me stuff. I use Facebook Messenger to reach out to people because a lot of people use it. But instead of just saying, no, thank you, or I'm not interested, why do you have to just ignore it or try to find ways to make people think that you don't see it? Like, what? What is... Like, is our society so afraid of even any sort of slight conflict that they can't even reply to a Facebook message? And that they're searching the internet for ways to get around people seeing that they saw a message. Like, seriously, can someone explain that to me? I love when people message me, and even if I'm not interested, just say, hey, appreciate you reaching out, I'm just really not interested. Ta-da! 
But like, why guys, why? And secondly, RSVPs drives me crazy. Why is it so hard to say you don't want to go to something? Just click no. It's very easy. Evite, Facebook events, whatever sort of inviting invitation system you're using. If you don't want to go to something, just say no. And if you don't want to go to something and you're afraid you're going to hurt the person's feelings and you say yes anyway, don't do that because they're planning that you're going to be there and they're putting aside food and drinks and all kinds of stuff because you said yes because you're afraid of some underlying conflict that could come about by just saying no. Like why? I don't understand it. If you don't want to go to something, say no. If you're not sure if you can go, then say maybe or don't respond until you are sure. But don't just like let it sit there in purgatory and the, your host is sitting there like, are you guys coming? Like what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And it's crickets. It's like, just say no. Why is that so hard? If I can't go to something, I say no. If maybe um, I don't want to go, I just say no. You can make up an excuse. You can say you have something else if you're so terrified of saying no, but just click no, guys. It's so easy. But yeah, no, I'm not interested right now. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not going to know till the last minute, say maybe. Let the person know, hey, this is what's going on. My schedule, if I'm completely honest with you, is so busy. Between the boys are in basketball playoffs right now, between Stella and Dot shows, between dinners that me and my husband have to go to and people that we meet for dinner and stuff. Like, literally, I was talking to someone to schedule dinner last night and I had to schedule it for March because that's how far booked out we are. Like, literally every night we have something. And, but rather than like ignore or anything like that, just say, you know what, I'm really busy right now. This looks like it might work, but I'm gonna have to let you know for sure at a later time. So if you don't know until the last minute, just say, I'm not gonna know until this minute, I'll let you know as soon as I do. Done, so easy, why? And like, I saw someone also post something, and I'm gonna bring this all together in a minute. Um, I saw someone post something this morning that was like, I was like, yes, girl, preach. She said, the more you grow, the more friends you will lose. People love you when you're average because it makes them more comfortable. And at the end of the day, I feel like we have such a fear of commitment. We have such a fear of conflict and we have such a fear of discomfort. Like why as women, we are supposed to cheer each other on. Guys, like hundreds of years ago, we couldn't vote. We couldn't speak in public. We couldn't like nothing. Like we couldn't do anything. So why are we the first ones to like put down another woman? I don't understand it. I love seeing my girls do well. I love seeing you girls do well. And I'm the first person to be like, that is awesome. Good for you. Click a like button, throw some confetti, whatever. If I'm going to be crystal from the bachelor, throw glitter, like whatever. But like cheer each other on. Why is it that it's so hard to see someone do well and be genuinely happy for them? What does their success have to do? Like, I don't know. It, at the end of the day, is it jealousy? Maybe. Um, there are a lot of people that will, like, they see things that other people are doing and they're like, oh, whatever. Well, she's only doing this because blah, blah, blah. Or she only got there because blah, blah, blah. Da, da. Stop. Maybe she got there because she's working harder. Maybe she got there because she's stepping outside of her comfort zone and doing something that you won't do and you're so terrified of doing what she's doing and that's why she's succeeding and you're not. Maybe, don't know, just throwing it out there. I've been using this line in my house for like the past week. The hungry dogs run faster. If you want something, you gotta run faster. You gotta go harder. My little brother is a freshman in college this year and he's playing lacrosse and lacrosse season's getting started and he's a freshman and he's busting his tail and he's doing whatever, but he feels like he's not getting anywhere. He's like, they didn't put me in until the fourth quarter. They didn't do this, they didn't do that. I'm like, yeah, but bud, you're a freshman. Like you gotta earn your spot. Da, da, da. He's like, yeah, but I just, I don't even wanna play. Like people get give up so easily. And my response was, hungry dogs run faster. 
And I really wish I could take credit for it, but it's Jason Kelsey from the Eagles. If you watch his uh, speech at the parade, he, he said the Eagles won because they were hungry and hungry dogs run faster. So instead of knocking down a girl who's doing really well at what she's doing and being jealous of that and talking badly about her because you're jealous of her success or whatever sort of success it is, if you want that, run faster, play harder, like put in the work that she's putting in and then maybe you'll get there. Um, but yeah, like it's just, everyone's so afraid of conflict. Everyone's so afraid of stepping outside of their comfort zone. If I can encourage you in any way, I am like the most introverted, anxiety ridden person. And you would never think this, never. I, until I know someone, I'm pretty quiet. It takes me a while to warm up to someone. But once I am, I'm like going and you get me full force. This, these videos for me, I'm talking to myself. I'm literally looking at myself while I'm doing this. So I don't think about everybody watching it. I just think that I'm talking to myself. And when I'm kind of, um, to be honest with you, when I went to my cell and dot training on Saturday, I went by myself. Did I know that there were gonna be a couple girls there that I knew like through Facebook and Instagram? Yes, but I'd never met them in person. And I walked into that, like training terrified like literally like my you can if you see me in a situation where i'm like nervous like my handshake or i play with my fingernails i'm constantly doing that like that's my anxiety like sign and after a while i'm like like what are you doing like there's nothing wrong with you there's nothing to be afraid of da -da -da. and this the thing that broke the ice for me is i met this girl her name is cindy and she comes up to me and she goes you're the hat girl. And I was like, what? And she goes, I follow you on Instagram. You always wear hats. And I get really pissed off because I can't wear a hat. And so did I. And I was like, oh my God. I'm like, Cindy, girl. I'm like, I wear a hat because my hair is always dirty. And she goes, oh, well, I want to wear hats. And she goes, but I love you. I think you're awesome. And I was like, oh, thank you. And that was like the icebreaker I needed. But like, to put me into a sales position or put me into anything where I'm like, like I would never be able to stand on a stage and preach like my husband does. Um, and like, clearly we're spiritual. My husband's a pastor, we're Christian. I don't say we're religious. Um, we have faith, Jesus is the man, but I truly play, believe that God placed me where he did in the situations that he did to make me step outside of my comfort zone because that's where you're gonna grow. And if you knew me a couple years ago, I've grown significantly. Um, you have to, like, everything's just so passive nowadays and people are passive because then there's no risk involved. Um, I was on a training the other day and they were like, people will take passive action all day long, learning things, doing all these things. They require zero risk but actually acting on them requires that risk. And people are so terrified of taking risk. They never grow, they stay where they are. And then they get down on life and they don't understand why. And it's because they're not willing to step outside of that comfort zone and grow. And like a lot of people, if you don't know my story, Mike and I didn't date for very long before we got married, but we knew for certain that we were supposed to be together. He was the person for me. We asked the right questions. We didn't mess around. Like we're old, it was our second time around. Like we weren't messing around. We were asking the difficult questions because if it wasn't gonna fall in line with what we wanted or what we stood for or what we like were looking for, then we were gonna be like, bye, see ya. But we got married very quickly and a lot of people had a lot of feelings about that. But if I'm completely honest with you, I knew there was slight risk involved in getting married but I knew within my gut that there, I was absolutely sure about it. And looking back, it was the best decision I've ever made because I have a partner who's absolutely amazing, who makes me better, who pushes me outside of my comfort zone all the time. Like granted, he's totally my wingman. And I always tell him when I have to go to events and he's not with me, I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do because he like, he will talk to anybody clearly. like. He's funny, he will talk to anyone, he's not nervous, da, 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 da. And when we're together, I play off of that. He gives me, like, he gives me that comfort I need for, like, my crazy anxiety in that situation. But when I go to things without him, I'm like, oh, I need my wingman. 
but like he is my true partner. He compliments me in every way. He encourages me in every way. So like I took a really big risk according to some people, but it was one that I was absolutely sure about and looking back again, best decision I've ever made. So at the end of the day, my advice to you, don't avoid conflict. Step outside of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to commit to things like answer the Facebook message. If you're not interested, just say thank you so much, but I'm really not interested. If you're invited to an event and you don't wanna to go to it, say no. It's not that difficult, guys. If you see a girl doing well, cheer her on. There's no reason to knock her down. There are so many people that will be around you when you're down because misery loves company. But when you're doing well, where are they? Where did they go? I'm just wondering. There's crickets when you're doing well, except for those that are truly around you. So that is my soapbox for the day. I don't know why, I was just like driving in the car and I was like, I just need to like vent today. And I know it has nothing to do with fashion and I know it has nothing to do with Stella and Dot and I know it has nothing to do with anything that we do here. But I just wanted to encourage you guys and I know some of you probably feel the same way and I know some of you may be watching this thinking, is she talking about me? No, I'm not talking about you. It's just things that have been happening or things that I've been seeing. Some things that aren't even happening to me. Um, recently, just things I witness and I'm just like, I need to preach on this. My husband needs to step aside for once and I'm gonna preach to my <laughs> iPhone because I will never stand on the stage. I need this girl. I just like, you better go to Hoopla because we need to hang out again and not just to exchange jeans this time. Um, so that was me for today. If you're just tuning in, Chelsea and Kate, <laughs> rewind to watch the beginning because your girl been preaching. Um, so that's where I'm at. And don't forget my upcoming collaboration. Let me know if you'd like a giveaway or a discount code, which one you would prefer. Giveaway would be for one person. Discount code would be for all to use. Um, so that's all I got because I have to put together my target blog post that I promised you guys that I would do. And we have basketball again tonight. And maybe if I'm really lucky, I can run the scoreboard again because you know how fun that is. Mom life, man, mom life. But anyways, that's all I have. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday and I will talk to you later. Bye.